In this video, I'm going to be going over the best methods and stratagems to deal with Shrieker nests and Shriekers. I'll also be going over the Shriekers' weak points in their anatomy, as well as how to dodge them and things to avoid when you're dealing with Shriekers. Let's start off with the Shrieker anatomy and weak points. The Shrieker wings, legs, and abdomen are all vulnerable to light armor penetration, and are also moderate weak points. There is one spot on the Shrieker I believe to be somewhere in the shoulder region that's not actually a weak point. Testing this for certainty was difficult, but here's a slowed down and zoomed in clip of me hitting this spot. Hitting this spot generally gives a red hit marker followed by a white hit marker, so it might just be a bugged weak point. And finally there's the head weak point which I highlighted in bright red. If you hit the Shrieker on the head or the frills that are on its head, then this will kill it extremely fast. Even though the other spots register as weak points, this head weak point deals a lot more damage. And I'll go through that all again. Everything that's highlighted in orange or darker red is going to be a normal weak point. The yellow is not a weak point, and the bright red spot is a critical weak point. So just because you're getting red weak point hit markers doesn't mean you're necessarily hitting the weakest point if you're not hitting the head. And there's one last thing I would like to go over with the Shrieker Anatomy. That's that you can blow their legs off. Their legs are their primary means of attack. So if you blow their legs off, they'll be much less likely to hit you. Shooting the wings will also blow holes in the wings, but so far I haven't found any practical use for this or anything that actually does. As far as combat with Shriekers goes, I like the Slugger Shotgun because it will one-shot them from pretty much any range. Weapon shot velocity is more important on Shriekers than any other enemy though, because their distance and speed means that you will have to lead shots. Pretty much any shotgun is good for Shriekers, as long as it has good velocity, but most automatic weapons can take them out fairly easily as well. One thing to be cautious about is if you're shooting a swooping Shrieker, it will do a lot of damage when it falls down after it dies. The entire Shrieker body turns into a hurt box when they die while swooping, and this deals massive damage to anything it touches. Like right here, it kills the other Shrieker just because it touched it after it died. And of course this can happen to you as well, so make sure to move out of the way of the falling Shrieker body whenever you shoot down a Shrieker. When it comes to dodging Shrieker attacks, if you just move sideways to the path of the Shrieker's dive, then almost all the time you'll dodge it. You can simply run around in circles and dodge Shrieker attacks, or you can just be moving sideways, but knowing where the Shrieker attack is coming from is what's most important. Let's move on to how to deal with Shrieker Nests. If you get close enough to a Shrieker Nest, then you'll be able to call in a Hellbomb stratagem. If you do call one in, make sure to throw it close enough to where it can blow up and hit all of the Shrieker Nests that are in the vicinity. The Hellbomb's really great for taking care of the nests and killing everything, but the problem with the Hellbomb is that if you have a lot of enemies chasing you, then they will attack the Hellbomb and they'll also just swarm it and attack you. So actually arming the Hellbomb can be extremely difficult. If you do use the Hellbomb, then you have to have a big clearing or you have to have a squad that can clear very well. The Orbital 380mm HE Barrage is a more practical option in my opinion. If you throw this in the center of where the nests are, then it has a pretty good chance of destroying all of the nests over the entire barrage. They do seem to need a direct hit on the nests in order to actually destroy the nests, so there's some RNG involved in this. Rocket Pods and 500kg can take out the nests too, but you'll need one of these for each of the nests. Barrages and hell bombs are great, but an even better way to take out Shrieker nests is from afar with a recoilless rifle or expendable anti-tank. If you use these, then you can shoot the Shrieker nests from so far that the Shriekers won't even aggro, which can be incredibly useful if you already have a bunch of enemies chasing you. Shrieker nests seem to be weak against explosives, and the expendable anti-tank or the recoilless rifle will each take out a Shrieker nest in two hits. The EIT and the recoilless rifle are great if you want to have something that's also capable of taking out bile titans or chargers, but if you want to use something that's really good for killing small and medium enemies as well, the autocannon's another really good option for taking out nests. It takes 9 hits to kill a nest with the autocannon. I'm sure the grenade launcher would work for this as well. And I also tested the railgun on unsafe mode. It didn't seem extremely effective and was taking a ton of hits. I think the reason for this is that the nests just have an explosive weakness. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you would like to add anything that's useful to know about Shriekers or their nests.